Hemi Simlach, an extraordinary guitar picker and jelly baby eater. Hamish was famous before he started to make albums. Most people were getting a wee bit famous and were snatched up by record companies. Hamish already was famous, very, very funny, immensely popular, and started to make these transatlantic albums, which made him even bigger. My baby left me, never said a word, love that I done, something that she heard. Gone, she saw the gone. Left me here crying, cause she's gone. I wish that I was dying, cause she's gone. She saw it gone. Hamish Imlach was the first person I ever saw play in, in the house, and I took lessons there by Archie Fisher. As a folk club, I think it was just as any old folk club uh, ever was. But uh, during the festival, it certainly came alive. It was quite a big do, actually. Nice uh, to make the soup. <laughs> the songs that Auntie played are ghostly now. Today, youth finds its own particular magic. In 58, and the TV program came on. It's called The Guitar Craze. And then... This young guy with a year, you know, sat in there, looked like a bombed out lot, and uh, we played finger-style Cry Me a River, which I proceeded to do. <laughs> the impression of Davy was that he was a wild flower that had grown somewhere on this bomb yeah, site all by himself. Much like, uh, but it was the type of thing we are trying to play, but he'd gone on the stage ahead and played a pop song, Cry Me a River. It would take me the next year to get the cause of that loan. Six months after he started playing the flaming guitar. That was the depressing bit when we met him. One of the things that David did was take us away from the guitar he was the sort of finger flicking guitar he was we knew at the time, and bring us into jazz chording. And some of his style was much more like piano playing than guitar playing. Well, I'm leaving, leaving mama. But I don't know where to go. Well, I said I'm leaving mama, but I don't know where to go. I'm posing a kind of classical jazz technique, is the way it started out. And then he applied that away from the blues to traditional music. That's a bit of Angie, which, uh, by David Grant. Most guitarists uh, got into playing that at some point in their career. Uh, sometimes it was the starting point. If you could play Angie, you were, you'd made it. You could actually then stand up in the folk club and say, here I am. In 1956, I used to come here quite a lot. My sister Jill used to work here at the Troubadour Club. And uh, at the suggestion of uh, Don Good, I think it was an ex-gunsmith friend of ours, he said, why don't you do your first engagement? He said, it's start early, you'll be doing it all your life. So I did actually do my first date in this club downstairs. <laughs> 